Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Rob Font versus Davison Figueredo. Rob Font is 36 years old, 20 and 7 as a pro, and he's got 3 inches of height and 3 and a half inches of reach over 35 year old Figueredo, who is 21, 3 and 1. And this is an excellent matchup. I do think this could have been a fight night event headliner. But, well, maybe not after Rob Font's loss against Corey Sanhagen, which was a fucking dreadful fight. I, I'm i pretty sure it must have been five rounds, but it seemed like it was seven or eight watching it live. It was just dreadful shit. But anyway, uh, Rob Font still has a good bit of momentum left from that Adrian Yanez knockout a year ago, which was... Uh, just a phenomenal win and a great way to return to form for Rob Font. Rob Font is a heavy-handed bantamweight. He's got nine TKOs or knockouts in his 20 wins, four submissions, and seven decisions. And his uh, seven losses come one via submission, six via decision. He's a very tough guy to put away. The one guy to beat him by submission is Pedro Munoz, who knocked him, rocked him, and then guillotine choked him which is Pedro Munoz's super move, special move. And uh, the six decision losses come to some very dangerous guys. Corey Sanhagen, even though there wasn't so much danger there. Cheeto Vera, Jose Aldo, Rafael Asuncao, maybe not so dangerous. John Lineker, how's that for bringing us back to dangerous? So Rob Font has historically been very tough. And again, he's never been knocked out, but he's been hurt a little more lately. I mentioned the Pedro Munoz fight. That was like, whatever, six years ago or some shit. But recently, uh, Cheeto Vera knocked him silly in like four out of the five rounds. Jose Aldo had him hurt. Uh, and at 36 years old, even though he's never been knocked out, there's a little bit of doubt creeping in there with Rob Font. But he is still a very dangerous guy himself. And... Uh, he, uh, has an incredible jab, which is why I'm picking him to win this fight, if I can give a spoiler here. I think Rob Font, on top of being one of the more powerful bantamweights, which, uh, brings a unique threat to Davis and Figueredo, he's also one of the best, his best weapon is his safest punch, and... Uh, now here, he's a much bigger man, three inches of height, three and a half inches of reach. I think it bodes well for Rob Font fighting the fight he wants to fight and, um, making Davison Figueredo pay, uh, for going up to bantamweight. But Davison Figueredo is still an incredibly dangerous, well-versed guy. 17 finishes in his 21 wins, nine via knockout, eight via submission, Go ask Joseph Benavidez. He'll tell you how dangerous Davis and Figueredo is. And that's the thing. He's beaten so many good fighters and put away a lot of them. And he made the Rose Namajunas mistake of saying, well, I'm never going to get this title back after four consecutive fights with Brandon Moreto. And then he moved up in weight. And before he even reached his fight, a guy he had already beaten won the title. Just like Wei Li Zhang did with uh, Rose Namajunas. But uh, now the champion, he does have a win over Pantoja, but he's moved up in weight here and taken a gamble. And at 35 years old, I think that's that could be a good move for him because I know he's a guy who's had some difficult weight cuts. But of course, it could work against him as well. 35 years old, uh, fighting a heavy-handed bantamweight who's used to cutting weight and he'll be fine at 135. Uh, could be trouble for Davis and Figueredo. Figueredo, I think, has that unique danger where he could be one of the few to duplicate the Pedro Munoz win and actually finish Rob Font. Figueredo's got an excellent guillotine, and of course, he's got some um, very solid power as well, which definitely will translate at bantamweight. I'm not saying he'll be the top force like he was in uh, flyweight, but he's good enough to knock some guy silly, 10, 10 pounds heavier than he is. His three losses come... One via TKO to Brandon Moreno. That was the doctor stoppage in the last one. One via submission to Brandon Moreno, another third rounder. That was the um, second fight, I believe. And uh, one via decision to uh, Juicier Formiga, who beat him in the UFC by taking him down with some well-timed takedowns and control of him. Speaking of which, he also had a close fight with Jared Brooks way back when in the UFC. Split decision, I believe. 
But here in this fight, I'm picking against Davis and Figueredo. I think Rob Font, again, has uh, the, one of the best jabs in the sport. And certainly, uh, it's his best weapon. And here, he's going to be afforded a little more room to use it. And uh, more comfort to use it. With three and a half inches of reach and three inches of height. And I think he's got to worry about the danger of Davis and Figueredo. But if he takes away the danger and fights smartly and wisely, he's going to win these small moments, I think, and beat up Davison down the stretch. So Rob Font is the pick. I got to go with him winning by decision. It makes the most sense to me, but I feel like a lot can happen in this fight. The only thing I'm comfortable betting on so far is his money line at minus 140. Rob Font is the pick, though. And again, I think the jab will be the story of this victory. And he gets back to form. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.